take it on, yeah. We are waba, I walk off any sign. When I walk, I walk on one. I walk to your Push, push, push. Hello, everybody. It's Christmas, and we are back on your screens to talk entertainment with you here on Joy News on Multi TV. Uh, what better way to talk entertainment? We are somewhere. Uh, on the streets of Accra and we are going to be giving you all the stories that you've missed during the week. This is the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. My name is Becky. There's more surprise when I come back. Well, today we are talking entertainment somewhere in Accra on the streets of Accra and I have uh, the man of BD Pom Biddy to talk entertainment with. It's almost Christmas. He has a Christmas present for all fans. I'm talking about his annual Rapaholic concert which is set to happen on the 25th of December at the Accra International Conference Center. He's here uh, to give us more details. Hello, what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm good. Uh, uh, what, what are we expecting this season of Rapaholic concerts? Um, yes, it's going to be great. As I've, um, I've been saying throughout the whole um, campaign towards it, um, last year was great. It was a very, very good show. Uh, yeah. So them go more fight to cry a film, pay baby not chalk it. You do for a rap and they go me to the magazine, say, Mukumi the posse. I get a button up and move the Philippines, and then the person that's what's happening. I'm a chocolate, but I'm a couple of papas, and many permanent rush it. I normally rate shows as in how I feel after the show, and it was a very, very successful and a very good show. So this this year, we actually, you know, everything that we did is going to be on the next level. I know people keep saying that it's going to be bigger than last year, but this is literally going to be bigger than last year. It's, it's really going to be very heavy, you know, the, the surprises we have on it is dope. And, I, and I'm just happy about the fact that Ghanaian music has been, you know, that successful. And then when we when we having a show like this and we have foreigners coming from other countries, they they really, you know, love the movement going on. So Rapaholic is just for Ghana. It's not just based on Sarko Yes, yeah, so it's going to be very, 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 very good. Do we have any uh, surprise acts coming up or maybe some people coming from uh, international? I know maybe Patrankin will be there, hopefully. Uh, who else are we looking forward to? Um... Uh, we didn't say Patrick, but if Patrick could have been there, that would, that would, that would be dope. But um, what I'm saying is we, ha we do have surprises, you know, that people will never even think about, you know, and we can't give that out. I think the, the basic reason why people have to get their tickets is not because of the artists we are pushing, it's the movement, it's the whole thing that we are celebrating Ghanaian music. So that, and then we, we will give you a surprise as well as part, part of the package, you know, so you have a lot in one you know so you're coming for a show a concert and then you are just thrilled with you know, the, the surprises that keeps coming on stage yeah speaking of family i saw something online you're bringing tt is it true uh, oh no I don't, I don't i don't think that time yeah i just said it because i was actually happy i was with her when i was tweeting but uh the timing i don't think she can because she sleeps way early yeah yeah Elections is over. We all called for peace. You, you were, I mean, campaigning for peace, and peace is here. We, we've seen nothing like war. Generally, what do you make of the elections, 2016? Yeah, but that's that's my country. That's why I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. I've never had. I, I didn't even do like a peace song or anything because I didn't. I didn't think it was needed. I think Ghana has always been peaceful. And we are always going to be peaceful, and I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. I'm proud of my people. So I saw this coming. I'm not too shocked. I'm actually shocked at the fact that people feel like, oh, they are shocked that. There was no fight, but Ghana is not like that. We've never been built like that. And I go to other countries, and then they, they, they wish, you know, they had the peace we have here in Ghana. And Ghana is the only place I can drive alone. I'm actually driving alone now. Like I'm free. People will see you. All they, all they have is love. So it's always been like that. Ghana is always going to be peaceful. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great time where people can, you know, spread love. So any issues you have with somebody, use. Um, this Christmas, you know, to clear everything before we get into the new year. Make sure you have a better relationship with your family, your friends. Don't hoard anything inside you. Don't, don't, don't be bitter to suffer on your own. Just try to let go. Um, call anybody up who you've been having a beef with for a very long time and just try to trash it out, you know. So, and God bless all of us. I love my fans. You know what time it is. All right. Favorite song, your favorite song on uh, among all the songs that you've 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 made over the years it's it's the end of the year well which song do you like particular song that you like uh, that's gonna be hard you know I, I don't normally do that I like the songs that I've not released yet you know it's when I release it that you guys have it and it's your song it's not my song anymore so I, I I would I wouldn't really go back to listen to it unless I'm performing or I'm in a club and they're playing it so the songs you hear me play in my, in my car are songs that's not out, you know. And as of now, I think my favorite is Me and Shatawale. It's a new song. I might drop it tonight or maybe tomorrow. It's a very, very dope song. We can't wait. All right. Bless you. Thank you.
right, that was Sarko Dier right there for you. I hope you enjoyed that exclusive interview we had with uh, Sarko Dier. We hope that we have more of those next year right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Let's talk about uh, his favorite collaborator. I'm talking about Efia. Efia has been talking entertainment with us here on Journeys on Multi TV. And guess what? She doesn't have any problem with the. Uh, is it a shirt or a dress? I don't know. Uh, that was uh, kind of revealing. She doesn't have any problem with that. She's doing it because she loves herself. She loves her body. And here is what Efia has to say about her famous, famous breakfast. somewhere this year i mean you and whiskey took a picture mm -hmm. you were wearing this uh, beautiful dress oh, yes, with the and yeah and yeah it, it was yeah. trending yeah. people had issues with it you others know, were like you show a little skin it trends but you know it's really exciting i love my body i think it's a museum of beauty and because of that i adore it you know so sometimes i mean i i'm not out there to expose myself you know i i believe that being confident comes in different ways and sometimes that's how I show my confidence you know it's it's all good though I loved I loved that picture you know it was very very hot right if you saw something that means you were looking <laughs> I believe that if you saw something that means you were looking because I feel like I was covered up if I wasn't covered up I would you know that means I was exposed and I don't think I was exposed well still on if yeah if you have been talking about uh, the fact that seeing a soul is not a competition for her. People have been uh, commenting that seeing a soul is a competition for Ifia, and so Ifia should look out for a seeing a soul. But Ifia says, no, she loves everybody. She's a girl's girl, and so seeing a soul is no competition for her. They, I mean, they can be competing. Yep. Do you know Sina Soul? Yes, I do. Well, recently she performed at an, an event and um, all I saw on social media is like, if yeah, you, you've got to tie your shoes up, you, you've got to be ready because this lady is just coming up for you. And I don't, Are you scared of competition? I don't think I have any competition. What, it, what I think it is, is it's a big sky. God made it a lot of stars and every night they all shine. And that's what I believe. I love Sina so I put her on my shows because I want to give her the kind of exposure that I didn't get when I was starting my music with the kind of music that I was doing, you know. And she has a beautiful talent that I think is going to grow to become amazing. And I am here to support her as much as I can. So I don't think there's any competition, you know. I see it as we're sisters in the same field, which is the same way I relate to every other female artist. As you would know, you know, I'm a girl's girl. Let's move away from Ifia and talk about Kaki. Kaki says that her apology to Miss V uh, was, I mean, from her heart and she meant it. She hopes that Miss V would uh, come back and, you know, retaliate, uh, talk about things, maybe girls, girls, maybe talk about an album really soon. I mean, you know, it's Christmas. It's almost the end of the year. And so all of those things, all of the beef should, you know, just die off. So the apology is real. See now we turn up everybody Every man I pray me sexy body A million dollar chick, them I call me Some girl a smooth face, me a smiley See now we turn up everybody Every man I pray You must be you I mean some time back we all heard um, yeah the whole back and forth then eventually we got up one day and there was news on the internet that Kaki has apologized and uh, she yeah and she regrets yeah I mean I heard something yeah, like that yeah she did she was like she's not gonna accept it and even ear oh. so I mean we want to set the record straight here did you apologize I did I did I did I, did. I mean I did um I'm the type that like Probably, I, I mean, um, I'll just say that tempers were high. It, it was, it was just a miscommunication because I sang my song. It was miscommunicated to you. You sang your song. It was miscommunicated to me. I, so I, I just think it's a form of miscommunication. So at the end, of, at the end of it all, I can't bear grudges for long. I mean, 2017 is just around the corner. I can't take 
bitterness into 2017. So yes, I did apologize. So I mean, they have every right not to have accepted. I mean, it's, it's with time, but I believe the time will come. Though it will just cool it off. But you know, sometimes with some of these beefs in the industry, people don't take them serious because they think that oh, maybe it's a lyrical lyrical war, it's a way of hype. So like, are you surprised that um, EL, Miss V, have t they have taken it so personal uh, to the extent that now you are even saying that, yo, I'm sorry, and they're like, we won't take it. Oh, as for how I don't want to, you know, assume and talk for them because it is what I hate. I, 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 I... I haven't heard from the horse's mouth that they are not accepting. So to me, I've, I've just let go. So if I, I mean, I did see your know, a couple of days back, and I said, hey. so he was. Oh yes, he did. All right. So uh, this is another exclusive edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. It's all about the Christmas. It's few days to Christmas. We are all excited. I have my uh, Christmas. What is it called, Stone Boy? After she sip on the champagne, she open a mini matelele. Well, actually, we're talking to, 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 to and I actually, I actually got one for you. So oh, I know my CEO gave it to me. It's supposed to be. On the third day of Christmas, my sweetheart gave to me. If you're looking uh, forward to, uh, I mean, be anywhere this Christmas is a BIM concert, and Stoneboy is right here to talk about that one. What, what should we expect? Who and who are, uh, are coming on? Uh, briefly, this is going to be the maiden edition of the BIM concert. You know, that happens in December, every December. You know. Because a lot of people who wouldn't be around from the beginning of the year and they would only come home to Ghana, I mean, to spend Christmas with us. So I believe that we, from, from requests that I've, uh, we do receive from the masses out there, we decided to make sh to push everything through so we can make this happen. And then thanks to Charterhouse, GH Rocks, you know, for coming on board with us you know to do this one we've always had this in mind and we thank god it's, it's happening finally on the 27th of december at the Accra international conference center so um, I'm, I'm appealing to all fans and lovers to come out that day and i know some of the big 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 people that i do respect a lot have already hit me up to say that they are coming that alone gives me joy that alone makes me uh, feel that wow who and who are we looking at? I mean, if the fans are looking at yeah, coming, uh, just give me one for the thing. artists. Yeah, for the artists, um, we're trying to bring people together, like from all across. But definitely, we're gonna be bring at least one person who will work the work, who 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 will be worth it. You know, the money and thing and thing. But the fact that B Nation is on that, the fact that Stoneboy is on that alone, I know the people. That, that. The rollout for, for all of us and the rollout because it's Christmas, they're willing to come and you know we're, we're playing it live again, we're doing it with the band, you know, so back to back to back to back, full of energy. You know what I mean? Come and hear the, the songs that you love being performed live right there and then. It's Christmas. How? Um, um, well, things, things are still being put to place, you know, so regardless, because you know we just had the carols night already and that's, it's or was supposed to be the official carols night, any other thing else is, is, is a blessing, is, is, an, is an addition. So yeah man, let Ghana watch out for this Tuesday coming, let's all feel it, I'll be 70 Ghana regular, 120 BBIP. AICC conference center. Don't you miss this because you don't know Stone Boy talking and we're taking it to the world. Come here and perform that smashing song with Trey songs. You know what I mean? Come here and perform all of the big songs. All of the big songs from Mighty Lily to go higher to the songs that touch the hearts, that, you know, to the songs that are big hits in your heart. You know what I mean? We're ready to. Just for all of us to have a, 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 like a, a good end of year. You know? A, 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 a nice, a nice time, you know what I mean? So yeah, roll out and come in, you know? Everybody from across the world. Yeah.
Done with elections, we are glad that I mean there was nothing like war no, 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 or no, anything. No, but no, generally, what what do you make of you know the peaceful election aftermath? What would you make of, of the? Yeah, you know, I I we've, I've always known that um, we, we we love our peace and we cherish each other and Ghanaians love each other. And for the fact we don't take it for granted either. So you find out that artists like myself put up peace concerts to to create the to, to further more educate the people to make it to put it in their face that we don't want to no know chaos we don't want to war during the, this election times because times are tough you know the whole system is tensed you know so you think that your peace concert you know was worth it Why not it has achieved its um, um its its purpose assuming it, there was war afterwards, then it means that we all wasted monies and resources and our times. So it went out where we voted and then Ghana decided it was interesting, quite very interesting to, to witness the whole the whole when thing. Ah, when uh, home, I went to vote early in the morning and then I I went back. Not early, early in the morning, I went to vote in Ashaiman, you know. It, it's actually at my, my primary school, so I just drove in here to vote and I went back home. I was watching TV all through till morning because I wanted to know. Yeah, uh, Adum is part of Joy, right? Yeah, so I was watching Adum TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kept switching from one station to the other. So it was nice. Ghana is democracy if, if you know that. Everything is all right, you know? Personally, what, what are you expecting from the new, I mean, elected government? We've seen the previous governments done things for us. Personally, what, I, I mean, you... You see me, I'm, I'm a realist, you know, and I'm not too old, but I love to read so I know certain things, you know. Ever, ever since the first voting in 1992, I've witnessed the times till now, and uh, the difference can only be seen clearly by yourself and judging by yourself, you know, people... As, um, it, 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 it's a duty of the government, not political parties. Government, when they assume power or when they have power, to do all, all in their best they can. And I will always keep my words and stand by it that I, for one, would appreciate every little effort, every little effort that any government puts in, in place to, to make life better for the citizens, you know. Yeah, because I know that to please people is, 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 is not easy, you know what I mean? So whatever you do, it will benefit some people more than it will benefit some others because instantly a government cannot do, do it all. You know, I'm not even, I don't want to even say a political party, although every government comes out of a political party, but then that's what I've always stood by. So I believe that... We just pray for life because once we have life, we have everything. Let's think up, think positive, you know. Um, think big, you know. Think well because if you if you if you close your eye for a second and you imagine that you're living big.